This video is for educational and entertainment use only. The views in this video do not necessarily represent the views or life of Marlon so Dixon. So crazy, that's why I want you guys to understand the discretion that all of this stuff has. That depending on the court, depending on the judge, depending on the prosecutor, depending on the case, depending on the plaintiff, depending on the defendant, depending on the defense attorney, a lot of things can happen. Welcome back to the All Gail Kingpins channel where we talk about confidential informants. If it's your first time to the channel, consider liking, subscribing, definitely comment down below, share the video, but definitely hit that like button so we can beat the YouTube algorithm and get these videos out to more people. So I'm back with the snitching book. Criminal Informants and the Erosion of American Justice by Alexandra Nadepoff. So where I'm going is I'm going to chapter, I'm going to chapter two and it's called To Catch a Thief. And I'm going to page 59. On page 59, it's some short, but I want to go in detail with it. If the government refuses to disclose information necessary to a fair trial, the court may dismiss the case. So let me explain to you. The court may dismiss the case if the government don't give up the necessary information. They say it may. So when you understand the word may, it mean you may or you may not. So when you may or you may not, that means that the court may rule that, hey, the government don't need to bring us that information because of A, B, C, D. But in another court, that court may take that same exact case and say, no, the government needs to do that or we're going to dismiss this case. So everything depends on the court, depends on, like, it's, it's so crazy. That's why I want you guys to understand the discretion that all of this stuff has. That depending on the court, depending on the judge, depending on the prosecutor, depending on the case, depending on the plaintiff, depending on the defendant, depending on the defense attorney, a lot of things can happen. So if you guys understand, like I said, the feds have a 97, 98-ish conviction rate. If you understand why they have such a high conviction, then you will understand that majority of those cases are not going to trial. They're settled out. They're literally giving you a plea deal and they're they're plea bargaining. So when they go to the table, they say, hey, look, you can face this 40 or we can just go ahead and hit you with this five. If you just go ahead and plead guilty right here. We got this, 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 this and this. But because you don't know the law and you're not familiar with the law, you don't even know if everything what they telling you is going to stand up in court. So you just take the five years and then you go in and go do your five years. And then you might tell to try to, you know, get some of your time off or like anything. But in reality, you don't understand the the laws in detail, so you don't understand that you possibly could win that trial. Now, granted, the, the government have unlimited resources, so they're going to hit you with all their resources and call in all their favors and all this and all that. So if you ain't got no money to spend on your legal counsel, you ain't going to try to really go to war with them because they they money come from the taxpayers. So every time somebody go get gas, every time somebody go buy something, they get money all day. That's why their money is unlimited because it's taxes is happening all day, every day. So you got to literally understand that, that they need to release that certain information because they need to have that. But if they don't have it and they know that you're not privy of the law, then they could just hit you with a, hey, here's a plea deal real fast. So this is what informants do. Informants come into your life, they gather the information. So now you gave them the information and then they told the feds. The feds came, grabbed you, scooped you up and told you, hey, we got this and we got somebody that's willing to stand on the stand and say that you did this, 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 and this. That scare a lot of people. But because you don't know that it could potentially be entrapment or that is something going on with that witness to where that witness can't stand trial because of whatever it can't stand trial or that witness that's brung against you has a vendetta against you. So they have a vendetta against you. They're more likely to lie or try to put you in a situation because of whatever factors. So all that factors into court. Nobody knows all this, though, because it's so much to know at one time. And people are not studying this stuff since childhood to grow up and know it. People are not going to law school to know it. Even even the lawyers that graduate from law school don't know everything. Why? They work in teams. You are specific in this area. You specific in this area. You specific in this area because that's what these three areas this case has to do with. So we need three experts instead of one. 
the rich don't have just one lawyer. They have a team of lawyers because they understand the lawyers is the, is the best in whatever field that they have. Now, when you're talking about the federal government, oh, my God. You're talking about those that enforces the law. So everybody that they hire, they're not going to hire a low tier person. They're going to hire a higher tier person that knows the job and know what they're doing. So they know that they're going to convict people. It's just as simple as that. So I just wanted to just tell you guys, make this a quick short video that you guys know that, hey, the court may dismiss the case, may not dismiss the case. And the government have to give up the information that they have on you. And if the information is fruit of the poisonous tree or it's inadmissible in court, it won't make it to court. But if you don't understand those terms and they just tell you that they have it, but you don't know that it's fruit of the poisonous tree or it's inadmissible, you just going to take whatever they offer you. All right, I'll take the five years instead of 40. When in reality, you could end up going home. So that's all I got to say for this video. Like, share, subscribe. Make sure you donate to the channel. Buy me a book. I need more knowledge. Cop some of the Augeo King Pen merchandise and like the video because we want to beat the YouTube algorithm. And that's all I got to say for this video. I'll see you guys on the next one. This video is for educational and entertainment use only. The views in this video do not necessarily represent the views or life of Marlon Dixon. <laughs>